Welcome back. In the previous tutorial, we look at functions and formula. But in this tutorial, we are going to look at sort and filter. Now, before starting, let me delete this first rule. I just want to do that so that you can see what we are treating in this topic clearly. Okay. So, to date it, let me select the first rule. Then, right click and then click on delete. And then, let me remove the pro color in the headers. So, to remove the pro color, we select them together. To select multiple cells in Excel, you don't necessarily have to click and drag on this. Okay. You can select the first cell, hold on the shift key, and then go and click on the last one. It will select them together. You see that. Then, let's go to the pro color. Let's click on the arrow beside it. Then, we go down to no pro and click on it. So, you see that the pro color is gone. Then, Let's remove the font color too. Let's make it automatic. Okay. That's how it was earlier. Black. And then let's leave it as bold. Let's remove the italic. Okay. Now for this also, let's click on the first one. Hold on the shift key. And click on the last. Then remove the fill color. So click on the arrow here. Then click on no fill to remove the fill color. So we have it this way. So now let's start with the sort and filter. Now, there's something I also want to do for you to understand this topic very well. Now, I want to copy their names in the header. Okay, so let me select the header and then hold on the shift key and click on the last to select everything together. Then, let's click on Ctrl plus C to copy them. Then, let's go to shift 2 and then let's paste it here. So, to paste it, you can click on Ctrl plus V. As you can see, the width is too small. So, we can increase the width small. So, to do that, let's click on A. And then, you come to the ending here. Then, we left click on it and drag. Or, you double click on it. Let's go back to Employee Info Sheet. Now, let's select their edges together with the header as well. So, let's click on the first one. Then, hold on the Shift key. Then, we click on the last. Control plus C to copy. Then, let's go to Shift 3. Then let's paste it here. So, Control plus V to paste it. You see that. Then let's go back to Employee Info Sheet again. Now, let's select their names and ages together. So, to do that, you can click on the first cell here. Then, let's click on it and drag down, drag sideways to select everything together. Then, we use Control plus C to copy them together. Okay. Then, let's go to Sheet 4. And then, let's paste them here. So, Control plus V. Let's increase the width of column A. So, we click on A. Then, we come to the end here. Then, you left click and drag or you double click on it. Now, let's go back to Sheet 2. Now, what do we mean by sort? Sort helps you arrange something in certain order. Either alphabetical order or uh, numerical ascending or descending order. Now, let's try that for their names. Now, let's select the first person's name. Then, hold on the shift key and click on the last to select their names together, only their name. Then, look at the top right corner here. You see sort and filter. Click on the arrow beside it. Then, select sort A to Z. Now, when you do that, you see that it has sorted their names in alphabetical order. That is from A to Z. So, as you can see, the one whose name starts with B comes before A. Going. Now, look at Fafali and Frank. They both start with A. Since they both start with F, the decision of the one that will come first will be based on the next letter after the F. So when you look at the Fafali, A follows the F, and then Frank, A follows the F. So Fafali will come first before Frank. Now if there are two Franks, then the decision will be based on the next letter after the name Frank. That is probably their surname. Then let's select the names again, and go to sort and total, click on the arrow beside it. Then let's select sort Z to A. So, you see that it sorts them in alphabetical descending order. That is from Z to A. So, that's how to use sort for names. Now, let's go to Sheet 3. In Sheet 3, let's select their ages. So, let's click on the first age. Hold on the Sheet key and click on the last. Then, we go to Sort and Filter. So, we click on the arrow beside it. Then, we select Sort Smallest to Largest. So, when we do that, it will sort in ascending order. That is from the youngest person to the oldest person. Let's go back to the sort and filter, click on the arrow, then let's select sort largest to smallest. 
So this one will sort them in descending order. That is from the oldest to the youngest. You see that? Good. Now let's go to sheet four. Now I need more attention here. Now look at John Benson. John Benson is 36, right? That means if we sort their names, their ages should also move along with their names, isn't it? Now let's select their names. So we click on the first one, then hold on the sheet key, and then click on the last to select their names. Then let's go to sort and filter, click on the arrow beside it. Then let's click on sort A to Z. Now when I click on sort A to Z, the sort warning box will display. Now look at this. There are two options here. We have expand the selection, and then we have continue with the current selection. Now let's choose continue with the current selection to see what will happen first okay so let's choose continue with the current selection then let's click on sort now we see that it has sorted their names in alphabetical order but their ages fail to move along with their name we know that john benson is not 25 he's rather 36 so when we choose continue with the current selection their ages didn't move along with their names so the data has been distorted. Now let me undo that to come back to normal. And then let's go back to the sort and filter. Click on the arrow beside it. Then let's select sort A to Z. Now, it is currently on expand the selection. Initially, we use continue the current selection, right? Now let's use expand the selection. Now let's click on sort. When we do that, you see that their ages move along with their names. John Benson 36 move along with him. And that applies to the others as well. So you have to be careful with this sort thing. Okay. So let me undo this. To do that, control plus Z. Now, to apply the sort, I can select everything together, their names and their ages at once. Okay. Then, let's click on the arrow beside the sort and filter. Then we click sort A to Z. This sort at once without asking us whether we want to expand selection or continue with current selection because we selected all together. So you have a sense to recognize that we are doing it together. You see that? Good. So with this, I've been able to explain the sort. Okay. But let's apply it to our employee info. To apply it first, we have to decide on what we want to apply the sort to. Is it their names or their ages? So we are interested in their names. We just want to arrange their names in alphabetical order. Okay. So to do that, we select their names only. Then we go to sort and filter. Click on the arrow beside it. We want their names from A to Z. So we click on sort A to Z. So it's asking us whether we want to expand the selection. So let's choose expand selection. So when we click sort, it will be sorted. Right? Good. Now let's look at how to apply filter. To do that, let's select the first header. That's employee ID. Okay. Then hold on shift and click on the last one to select them together. Okay. Now after selecting them together, then let's go to sort and filter. Click on the arrow beside it. Then let's go to filter itself. So click on filter. As soon as you click on filter, it will apply filter to them. Now let's see how the filter works. You see that some drop down arrow has been created for each. Have you seen that? Good. Now let's see how they function. Now let's come to the department one. Okay. Now look at the drop down arrow for the department. Let's click on it. When we click on it, look at this selection. Select all. Have you seen that? Now uncheck this box. Select all box to uncheck all. Okay. Then let's check the box for. IT only. Let's check the box for IT only. Then we click OK. What happens? It will display only the people in IT. We have just these two people in IT. Let me go back there by clicking on the drop down again. Now let me select HR and then uncheck the IT and click OK. It will display only those in HR. Have you seen that? Let's also click on it again. Let's select finance and hr together okay then we click ok it will display both in finance and hr together so let me go back there again and then click on select all then i click ok then let's go to the drop down for age 
then let's uncheck the box for select all then let's select 36 you just want to see all those who are 36 okay then we click ok so we have two people who are 36 years of age when we click on the drop down again you can click on clear filter from age you see that's interesting right now assuming i want to remove the filter i can click on the first one then hold on shift and click on the last then i go to sort and filter click on the drop down and then click on filter again it will remove the filter have you seen that you see that the drop downs are gone interesting right so in the next tutorial we'll look at how to create table and how to design the table in excel thank you